guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today um i'm going to be doing a bit of a haul so um i have a few items that i have shopped for in the last two months i did most of my shopping during black friday and i bought some christmas and birthday gifts for myself as well um my birthday was on the 30th of december so it was a week ago from today that i'm filming so happy belated birthday to me <laughs> yeah but so um, I got these items or some of these items during Black Friday. What I like to do most times is um, during Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, I do most of my shopping, makeup, skincare and stuff that I like to use for the year. And I buy them because the prices are great and yeah, I mean, why not? So. Ew, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, uh, let me just grab things randomly so let me start with this so um this is the morphe continuous setting spray i've heard about this um setting spray for so long but i have never gotten around to owning one i've watched it i've seen countless people, people use this countlessly in um, makeup videos and i've even had it used on me before and i just absolutely love the way the mist comes out it's so fine i think that's the best word to describe it this is the continuous setting mist um, I got this during Black Friday sale. I think they shaved off about four or five dollars from the full price. I think it was about nineteen dollars or seventeen. I can't remember now. But yeah, so I got this from Morphe, and I can't wait to use it. Can you see that? It's just so fine. The so next thing is the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil. So I've been meaning to try a lip oil. I know there's a Dior one, there's a Clarins one, there's even one from Artist Couture. Um, they've been looking real interesting and I was like, you know what, let me try one. I know they aren't like full lip glosses, but they are, good, they are great for um, just keeping the lips plump. And um, like I like to use them before makeup application. So this is what it is. And this is what it looks like. This one is in the shade raspberry and it straight up smells like a raspberry trust me and i love the doe fruit as well so i can't wait to try this i can't wait to try this okay and it goes on clear it does go on clear you see the back of my hand there's really no color on the next items are from juvia's place i got two concealers and a lip gloss and two eyeshadow palettes honestly Juvia Space Concealers have my heart. They are all I use or mainly use because they're so affordable, the coverage is good, performance is great. I just really like them and I got two of these. The Olori palettes, these are these ones are Olori 1 and 3. I really like them. I think they were about six or seven dollars. Juvia Space have amazing sales during Black Friday. So I got these. So let me start with these ones. This is the the New Bound Glow Lip Balm. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. This is in the flavor. Ooh, there's no flavor on here. Okay, this is papaya. This is papaya. And um, I think this one goes on clear as well. Yep. This one goes on clear as well. As I said, for the Clarins Lip Oil, I'll just use this to prep my lips before makeup application. I'll just keep this in my bag during the dry weather. I use this to keep my lips moisturized. So that's that for Juvia's Place, the New Bangalore Lip Balm. And for the concealers, I got them in the shade 15 and 13. So those are mainly the shades that I use. I use 13 um, for a subtle highlight and I use 15 for a really bright highlight under my eyes. Um, 14, I think the shade is a little bit too off for me. I think it's a bit too um, yellow or so. So I really use these ones and um, the last ones I had, I got last year, are almost out. So I re-upped during Black Friday. Absolutely love my Juvia Space products. So let's go into the palette. So this is the first one. The Olori, okay, let me start with Olori, Olori one. So this is the Olori one palette. The packaging is so beautiful. And uh, I really didn't open these things because I really wanted to open it on camera. 
So I really don't know what it looks like. Ah. Okay. Ooh, this is so pretty. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really nice. I love the greens. I really don't have a lot of green eyeshadow, so I thought this would be good to add in my collection. So I'll do another video reviewing these and swatching and doing a whole makeup look with them. So, but this is what I got. I love these colors and I love that they included neutral colors in there as well because I mean, you can never go wrong with neutral colors in a palette. And I like when a palette has all the shades I need. I don't need to get two, three palettes to do a look. So that makes sense. And this is Olori 3. The packaging is pretty as well. Um, I think this one has a blue inside that just blew, blew my mind away when I saw it. I'm not sure if this is it. Yeah, this is it. So just look at that. Can you see that icy blue? It's so pretty for the tear dog for under to um, put under your eyes if you want to go for a really nice icy look. I love it. That bronze color, the burgundy color, this one here. And this one here is so pretty and then you can use any of these for transition colors even this for the outer crease as well throw on this bronze on the uh, mobile lid and this blue in the inner corner it's so pretty i love 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 i can't wait to use these and use them for makeup looks so that's that for the juvia's place um haul uh, my i think my total was like 30 dollars honestly when juvia's place goes ham on their sales they really really do a good job and i always make sure to purchase something during the sale and i don't think i've ever had any product that i've had a problem with so go do this from okay let me do huda beauty because it's right beside me and uh, okay let me grab the foundation so i got three items i got the foundation huda beauty faux filter luminous matte in shade gingerbread i have the toffee 420 but it's too light on me and i have to warm it up with a darker foundation and i was like you know what just go ahead and purchase your shade and see if you like it better so i got this i got the glowish by huda beauty luminous powder in the shade tan light um i think i should have gotten the tan but it was sold out and i said you know what just get this you can always make it work and i got the concealer in the shade um, butter peanut butter 24g the overachiever concealer i know that there's a new foundation and um there's a new concealer but these ones were on sale and honestly during black friday huda beauty's sale was amazing they had from i think 10 to 70 or 80 percent off on all items well depending on the item and um, these were all on sale these were really cheap i think this was like six dollars this was like maybe eight dollars and this was maybe like thirteen dollars i can't remember and the original price is about 40 something dollars but yeah so i grabbed these three and um so i can't wait to share Ooh, so i have to pop this open okay so it says express your selfie full filter i don't know are these the i'm thinking these are the reformulated ones I remember this um, particular line was reformulated but yeah so this is what the foundation looks like um maybe i'll just do a swatch on my hand as well okay Ooh. so this is what it looks like the color looks good has a warm shade it's really warm so i'm i'm more of a neutral undertone and this looks like a really good neutral undertone so the toffee um the toffee shade didn't disappoint it's full coverage and um i can't wait to use this one so what does it say really life proof non comedogenic flawless filter finish Waterproof, super long wear, 24 hours, transfer proof, fade, sweat, and humidity proof. That's a lot of work for one foundation, but I believe you. And it's actually really good because I've had the other one and I've used it and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. I can't wait to use this in a makeup look. Let me just take this out so I don't stain myself. Uh, okay. 
this down. Next thing is the concealer in peanut butter. Ooh. Okay, okay, it's a struggle. Okay, this one says do the most as well. Cute. And um, I'm not sure if this shade is my shade, but it's, it's probably going to be dark. Okay. It's not so bad. I think I can make it do a little something. A little one, two. <laughs> yeah. So I can use this for a very subtle highlight. I don't like my highlight too bright anyway, so this could work. I don't know if you can see that, but... And I like the packaging. It's really nice. So what does this say? Oh, it just says, gently squeeze the tube to reduce formula. Okay, so it doesn't really say anything. Oh, sorry. High coverage creamy concealer, intense pigmentation, camouflage and conceals powdered with skincare additives. So that's what this one says. I can't wait to use this. Let me wipe this off as well. I don't want to transfer any product on my clothes. And last but definitely not the least is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. So I haven't tried anything from the Glowish range. And during the sale, I was like, okay, why don't you just grab a powder? I know they have like a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, I'm not sure. They have concealers. They have like a lot of products in that range. I haven't tried anything. And I don't have um, a lot of face powders. So I thought to invest in these. This is in the shade Tan Light. And yeah, so this is what it looks like outside the pack. And ew, this is what the powder looks like. It has a very neutral undertone. And it looks good, but it looks a little too light on me. I think this might be too light. Um, so this says the love child of Huda Beauty and Wishful. Where flawless finish intersects with skin carrying ingredients for the ultimate glow. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so um, I'll use this, but I'll see if I could just use it in the center of my face and keep um, the per perimeter of my face warmed up so it doesn't look too light. But who knows, it might work. Maybe it's the light. Maybe it's the lighting that is throwing it a bit off and it looks light. But yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, so next up are these Glam Glow mask sets that I purchased on eBay. So um, year on, uh, year in, year out, I mean. Glam Glow masks are a staple in my skincare routine. They help to revive my skin when I'm breaking out, when my skin needs hydration. I use these and they work really well. I've been using them for about three, four years now and I've had no complaints whatsoever. They have like a range of seven or eight masks, but these two are my besties. I love them. This is the Super Mod Mask and the Festi Mod Mask. And um, most times I get my mask off eBay because there are a lot of resellers that have these sets that are sold out on the website that I can purchase from. And don't worry, they are original. So yeah, this, this is from the, I think the Barbie collection. Can you see how pretty the pack is? And I got this for a really, really good deal. So I have opened these. I got these in November, but I, hadn't, um, I haven't used them much. They were part of my haul. So this is what it looks like inside. I'll just slide these two out. This both the both of them are both um, 50, I think 50 ml each or 50 grams, pardon me. So this is the thirsty, no, this is the super mud mask. Ooh. I have used this one. I have used this one. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Anyone who uses this knows how this is. It has a very nice tingly sensation and it really just tightens your pores and pulls out all the dead and impurities from your skin and it leaves your skin like looking fresh and nice. And anytime I have a breakout, most times I just pop it on there like two or three times and my breakout is cleared. And I use it alongside my other beauty um, products as well. But this is a staple. I absolutely love it. Now, this one is the Thirsty Mud. This is very good for hydration. When you put this on, it has a very soft 
almost water-like feel on the face it's very hydrating it doesn't dry up so if you leave it on your face for one two three hours you're still going to feel that um aqua like sensation on your skin so to speak and it has a very nice tingly sensation not too much but it feels like you can feel the active ingredients activated in your skin and when i wash it off my feel my skin feels plump and so nice i love this one so i haven't started using this one because i have one that i purchased and i'm still going through so once i'm done with that one i will be reaching for this one so it still has the paper and everything Okay, I haven't opened up this one so still fully sealed but such a great product I would highly recommend if you need a hydrating face mask you should give this a try and if you need a clarifying face mask you should give the super mode mask a try as well let me just pop this back in yeah so glam glow I absolutely love I will always okay wear it. so what's next okay so I think I'll do these ones. These are from Artist Couture. Trust me, during Black Friday, Artist Couture had some of the best sales. They had like awesome prices. They even did like Glomas or something after Black Friday and every day they had a sale for something. But during the first two days of the Black Friday sale, I went ham. I actually placed two separate orders because I did one at first and I was like, oh my god, these things are really cheap. You know what? Just buy everything you need so you don't have to go back mid-year when it's full price and then you'll say, oh, I can't spend $18 on a lip gloss. But anyway, so these are by Artist Couture. Let me bring out everything that's inside. Okay, I think it's all done. So this is, uh, okay, all my shipping information. And the products I purchased. So these are all the products. I put I have seven in here. And this is the card with the super nudes, um, supreme nudes matte masterpiece images. I love this collection. I love love love. So these are the lip glosses, these are the diamond lip teas, plush pouts. I got these in the shade Sugar Baby, Uncensored, Strip Tease, Thirst Trap, and I got three lipsticks in the shade Forever Muse, A Moment, and Modern Nude. So, there you go. These are the lip glosses, and these are the lipsticks. So, I'm going to do a full review on my Artist Couture products, trust me this brand this brand rather is so awesome they focus on what they are good at which is lip products and eyeshadow the eyeshadows are amazing i have one of the palettes and i absolutely love it so let me just swatch one or two of the lip glosses i know i have uncensored already that was a real because this is one of my favorite means of life it's so good but let me do oh this is sealed like super super sealed Okay, this is the main part you're supposed to pop it open from, but I'll just go from the back, you know. Okay. Woo! So this is so nice. Can you see? So this is like a baby pink lip gloss with like purple and silver, purple pink and silver reflex inside. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is prettier than I thought it would be. Oh. This I love. So this looks like one of the Pat McGrath lip glosses. I can't remember the name now. And also um, something from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I have already. It has no scent to it, which I don't mind. I don't really care for lip glosses that have scents. But this is beautiful. I can't wait to use this in a baby pink look. I love light lip glosses. They just set the whole makeup look up. Okay, so I said I had these, so I wasn't gonna open that. So let me try strip teas. Ooh, this is like a warm pinky nude. I definitely see pink in there. This will be good with a nice oops mist. This will be good with a nice brown lip liner. Okay, so I'm going to swatch two of the lipsticks. This shade is Forever Muse. 
and this one is a moment so i'll just watch these two so i love the packaging it's just a black sleep uh, sleep bullet with a gold base with the name artist Couture on there so this is what the lipstick looks like it's just like a warm brown nude let me swatch it on the back of my hand swatches very smoothly this would look like a my lips got better shade on someone who is like two or three shades darker than me and for me it would be best paired with a lip pencil it's very pretty we like it and i'm sure i have this color already but i mean it was such a good deal and why not <laughs> so this one is called a moment from the from the um color here it looks like a pinky situation Ooh, yeah so this is like a pinky nude definitely a pinky nude and um let's just swatch it beside and see how it comes off Ooh, this is definitely pink like a doll baby pink or let's just call it a mauve color this is a mauve mauvey shade best paired with a brown or purple or plum lip liner so i love these two shades they feel really smooth on the hand. They actually remind me of the Pat McGrath um, Velvet lipsticks. Is that what it's called? Well, the Pat McGrath lipsticks. Very smooth. So let me put this aside and show what I have in the other pack. Let me show what I have in this pack. So the next art scooter package. Let's go in. Ooh. Okay, it's much easier from this side. Let's see what we have here. I really can't remember what I even ordered. I really can't. Oh, okay. Let me just drop it all out. Do we have anything inside? Nope. Empty. Okay, so another card again for the Supreme Needs Matte Master um, piece set. And I have five items in this set. Oh, I remember. I remember what I bought now. Okay. So I added three more lipsticks. Ooh, this came torn. Okay. So I added three more lipsticks. These are in the shade Saucy Girl, Highly Favored, and Caliente. So you know these are going to be my lipsticks for the year. For the other ones. Um when I get new products, I tend to ignore all my old products, but hopefully I won't do that. But these look so interesting and they really look, feel nice on the on the hand i can't wait to wear them with looks oh so i got another powder again so this is the artist couture um, multi-use beauty powder in the shade caramel delight i was on a powder roll i can't even remember ordering this and i got yes i got the highlight club daddy big glow energy highlight in addicted to light so let me open this real quick Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what's inside. Okay, this is what it looks like. It says Static Artist Couture at the back. And, woo! Okay, so let me cover this. Or let me bend it backwards a little bit. So this is what it looks like. So nice, it's like a champagne gold color very similar to um, champagne pop okay swatch this and put this right here so this is what it looks like let me add some more so just a nice shimmery highlight color nothing too crazy I quite like it. I can't wait to wear this as with everything else. I can't wait to use it. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I'll just go from the back. Ooh. Okay, so this is the powder. Artist Couture Caramel, okay, yeah. Ooh, okay, so this is much warmer. This shade is much warmer than um, the Huda Beauty powder. I might just use the two of them together 
to get my perfect shade because I think this might be a bit too warm for me and that one will be too light so I swab here and swab there of the other one and I will fall somewhere right in the middle of my perfect shade so let's see if we can swatch this oh it feels so smooth to the touch the surface is so smooth I don't know if the camera will pick this up but yeah this right there that's what it looks like it's like a nice brown powder just like a regular powder and it's a multi-use beauty powder so i guess and now for the lipsticks let me just get this done real quick so we can move on Woo! i really want to show you guys this red though I'm not a big fan of red, but when I see a red that promises to, to do something, I'm just, oh, look at this red. It's a blue-based red. It looks very pretty. This would be great for a nice neutral look with neutral eyes. Okay, so another nude lipstick. I know this was a hit, this particular shade, Saucy Girl. It was one of the best sellers from um, the previously released collection where he released it with the lip glosses. So I'm trying to get this out. Oh, and this is another light pink shade. So these are the three shades. Let me just put them side by side. These are the three shades. I really like them. I see what I can do with them and I can't wait to use them in makeup looks. Okay, so that's that for the artist. So I think I'll stop here. This will be a part one of my Christmas, birthday, and um, Black Friday haul. And um, I'll come in another video. I'll do a part two video where I'll share what I got, the remaining, I remaining items that I got. So this video is not too long and drawn out. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in the part two of this video. Bye!